pretty sure you're gonna get diabetes by the time you finish that waffle. Good morning, it is day three in Prague and we're starting out strong. 8 a.m., we already had our cup of coffee, might go for seconds. We survived the bar last night. I don't know how we're feeling, but no hangover. So I don't know if the absent, 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 you stay in school. <laughs> the rumors are kind of true. No hangover. It doesn't taste that good. What I recommend it, uh, maybe to your worst enemy. Besides drinking all night and day, like a lot of people here in Prague, they have a lot of really cool niche museums that you can check out. And we're gonna check out a few more today. Um, one of them, the one that we're going to right now, is like a medieval gallery inside of a 13th century church. So let's take a look. So I was saying that it looks like this guy, uh, just before the last supper, he got a nice looking perm. This is a huge contrast from what we saw last night, where you have thousands of people gathered in front of that really old clock that's famous here. Find places like this, this museum that only costs us $12, and there's a ton of like medieval art and paintings and things like that, and look at this. You can hear a pin drop, it's so quiet because nobody's in here but us. So definitely do your research because there are a lot of little places in Prague that are worth visiting if you don't want to be surrounded by a huge crowd of people. Two hours later. So I smell ham basically everywhere here and I don't know if that's just because I'm hungry or because they sell it everywhere in Prague but either way let's go get something to eat. So we just realized on our third day that every time we go out we just either have lemonade or beer. I'm pretty sure <laughs> you know how you're 70% water? I feel like we're 70% beer right now. We decided to go with duck liver with onions as an appetizer. So I think there's only one portion size here in, in Prague, and that's just everything. Just load it up as po as much as possible to see if the person can even finish it. What do you have there? These are the pork cheeks. Then we have the duck liver. And we, and I got, can you take a guess? Smoked duck breast. So it's it's a bit interesting, right? This is there's this collection of all these little pieces of, um, I guess, historical documentation and tools and stuff like that. But for the most part, most of it is it's just writings on the wall. So I thought it was pretty cool. I definitely think it was worth it. Very bizarre kind of museum. You don't see stuff like this in many other places. But basically, it's like Wikipedia in a museum form. Every time we go to a bar, Vernon doesn't like beer. I do. And every time I order a beer and he orders something else, uh, they keep bringing him the beer and I get his drink. And it literally just happens, even though he has his drink in front of him. So if you want to talk about the most overrated thing in Prague, it's the clock. There must have been at least like 3,000 people. I mean, yes, it's an old clock, but the thing is to line up for it for 30 minutes just to see that. There's other things to do in Prague besides that clock. Summarize Prague in three words. Probably dense, busy, and delicious. Dense in terms of there's a ton of stuff to do in a very small area of the city. Busy in the sense that there are just people everywhere. It's crowded everywhere you go. And then delicious because the food is just, it doesn't disappoint anywhere. Surprise me where we're going for dinner. Last dinner in Prague. So let's see what he came up with. Which way? This way. Let's go. We went, we're going to surprise me. It's just called deer. A very, uh, almost a little swanky. Very, very tightly packed. There's literally people on every side of us. So you know it's good if it's this busy. So I ended up getting the deer and Vernon went... Wild boar. And lemonade. Because I think we've had enough beer for the day. This is what I get when Vernon decides to order dessert. So I don't know how to get in here. 
Let's see. Ooh. Ah, it's alive. Ooh. Ooh. It's the moose. Oh, there's something. What's the yellow stuff? And it's not pretty anymore. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is delicious. What's it taste like? It's a bit lemony, like custardy. The inside, let's see the chocolate. Mm. So this is maybe the worst time to give an outro for a video, but it is 5.30 right now and we're headed to the airport. That's a little bittersweet, but you know, we had a great time. I think the food was fantastic. There was a lot of stuff to do surprisingly for three days and we definitely think we'll be back at some point in the near future, but one thing we definitely didn't like was the crowds, especially in front of that clock tower. Um, but there's always going to be something around here to do. We just still saw some people out. I'm wondering if they're waking up or going to bed. Uh, I think Prague has a lot to offer for a lot of different people. They have everything from crazy nightlife clubs to amazing museums. But do be prepared to walk a lot. Try to make reservations for things ahead of time if you really want to save yourself a hassle. Be sure to stay tuned for our future adventures in Italy and in Europe. Ciao!